Today I'm reviewing Supergoop's SPF powder, their powder sunscreen. Supergoop resetting 100% mineral powder SPF 30. I got it in the shade Translucent. That's the only shade I could find. Apparently it comes in four shades, although it is new in the UK. So I, I suppose they're gonna have the other three shades later on, but just for now, all I can see is Translucent. All I can find is Translucent. So it looks, it looks like this. What I can see straight away, what I like about this is it's something so easy that you could just put it in your bag when you're out and about. Because the thing about sunscreens, I know, I really know you're meant to reapply your sunscreen like every few hours or so. But however, the days you got makeup, I really don't know how you're going to reapply your sunscreen on your face. That's why I really, really want to get it also. I really like Supergoop. I've used Supergoop in the past. That's the actual sunscreen that I use on a daily is Supergoop's sunscreens so this powder is something that i really wanted to try once i saw it anyways so the claims for this mineral setting the resetting powder so i wrote these down so as in the title it's 100 mineral so it's a mineral sunscreen which is great so it says it gives you skin protection without the unwanted shine and yes another thing that i really do not someone with someone with greasy skin, especially, especially in the summertime, this is perfect. Without the unwanted shine is what I need. There's something that I just haven't found is just a really good sunscreen that is just not shiny. And so this is perfect. If I have it in a powder form, thank you. So it mattifies your skin and offers broad spectrum protection against UVA and UVB rays. It uses non nanoparticles which are unable to penetrate the skin. Instead, they create a physical block against UV rays, scattering and reflecting the sun's rays in the process. And also, it's easy to apply. Right now, I only have foundation and concealer on i don't have any setting powder in it i've been meaning to set my face for quite some time it took me a while to set up this video let's see how this works so twist to open has some i guess this is what the powder comes out of this little yellow thing right here all right let's do this <laughs> Am I done or I just, how am I meant to, so remove the cap, slide down the clear plastic sleeve and remove the yellow pin from this, ah, remove the yellow pin, really? Mm. Whisk the body brush from closed to open, cool, tilt and tap the brush gently against your wrist until powder flows through the bristles, okay. Okay, so I think I have enough powder on my face. I don't know if I overdid it or what. It's really hard to tell how much powder you're actually using. So to close it, simply just pull the thing back up, twist to close the bottom bit again. So it doesn't release and then you're done. You can put that back in your bag or whatever, however you want to do it. One thing straight out from just applying it, the thing that I can see already becoming kind of like a problem, I would like to also be able to use my own brush. You know and also how do i even clean this brush here because i swear if i clean this i don't know if it's gonna the the stuff the water that i use to clean the brush is just gonna get all in the powder or what i you know hygiene reasons i want to clean this right now the powder the powder feels like a usual just translucent powder if it doesn't feel cakey at all i'll give a more of a close-up so you can see like my actual bare skin so here it is more close up on my skin Skin, just so you can get an actual feel for actually how it sits on my skin. It's not extremely cakey, but it's not like, you know, your highest quality powder, which is to be expected because this is just an SPF powder. For me personally, it just feels like a usual drugstore powder. A thing that I want to look out for for this powder is how well does it adhere to my oily skin. I've tried a lot of powders in the past and it's really hard for me to find a powder that just actually adjusts well to the oiliness of my skin. I want to do kind of like a, a close-up with a 
a different camera because I feel like this camera, I don't know if it picked up how the thing sits up on my face. So this is what the powder is sitting like on this camera. I could probably do a better close up on this camera. Um, yeah it's just it just sits like your average drugstore camera and this is what it's sitting like for the camera the big camera that i'm using just so you can see more of a general close-up of what it looks like and just how it sits on my face so i will be checking up with the powder throughout the day and just seeing how it holds up with my oily face my pores just everything sunny day to see how this holds up with my crease on my face it does say to reapply every two hours but i will show you how it looked before i reapply the powder i don't know how many times i will remember to reapply a powder throughout the day because there's something i'm not used to for me it's just like i've got my makeup on and then that's it throughout the rest of the day until i take it off so but i will be checking back with you guys every few hours or so i'm gonna do the rest of my face makeup so i'm just gonna put on a bronzer and just a little bit of highlight and that is literally it and then i'll see you guys in a little bit it is 1 1 p.m right now and i'll check with you guys at a later time okay so it is currently so it, i've got loads of things to do today so we're just outside being q and okay the time is 4 16 i put this on at one o'clock so it's been three hours it says to reapply every two hours so i just wanted to do like a little update on where we're at so this is how it's looking do you want to hold this here for a close up of the skin <laughs> this is how it's looking you know it just feels like a normal powder do you notice anything different with my face i just <laughs> oh i do have little bumps though but um this is what it looks like close up on the face um honestly it just feels like a normal powder in terms of how it's holding up with the sun we've just been sat in this car for a while because we've just been talking and stuff and it's hot in this car it's sunny today makeup's holding quite well you know if i look in if i look in the mirror oh actually it's getting a little bit caked up in these areas like it's not setting well in these areas over here so i don't know if i can get a close-up of it um so it's not setting that well in these areas under my eye next to my nose it's kind of like going a bit patchy already which is not the best but i'm not mad at it because i'm gonna reapply some anyway so i've got this new sunscreen today Sunscreen? Oh, yeah. I thought Sunscreen you said powder. You were, oh, wait, what? Yeah, that's what I'm trying today. How does that work? Uh, this. And it's good to just. You have to put the powder in. Yeah, it goes out when you pat it. Oh. So I just noticed I do have dry patches on my forehead. And I don't know if you can see, but there's some flakes on my forehead. If you've got dry skin, I don't think it's going to go well. But let's reapply all over the face oh so this is me with a another layer of powder i don't usually add this much powder to my face overall so far after three hours it's been okay for me i would just say it acts like an usual drugstore powder nothing nothing you know special in terms of the way it is for setting powder as setting powders go the only concerns that i have at the moment is the areas here where it's not setting in that well on my skin it's already becoming quite patchy and then my forehead it's got these like because i've got dry skin on my forehead right now it's just all the flakes on my forehead is not good anyways i'll check back later on okay so it is the end of the day currently it is currently 12.31 a.m. It's been 11 hours since I first put on the powder. It's been, I honestly, I can't remember the last time I checked up. I think it was like 3 or 4 p.m. So it's been about like 7 or 8 hours since I last checked up. It's the end of the day. It's been a long day. And honestly, I actually haven't reapplied the powder since. I know it should be a priority in my head and just be like, I'm recording a review video and I need to reapply this powder every two hours to test this out. But honestly, the purpose of this video, I just kind of wanted to do a quick review in this video. I just really wanted to try it out. And I just really wanted to see how well this powder performs as a usual just setting powder as opposed to just the SPF touch up. I just wanted to see how well it performs like that, especially for this price point. 
Um, 28 pounds. Is it worth 28 pounds? Well, now I can tell you because I tried it. <laughs> is it worth 28 pounds? My face. I don't know if you can see. My face is oily. I feel the oil. I don't. I don't really touch my face throughout the day unless I really have to. Especially when I'm out and about. I don't. That's the last thing I want to be touching. So I don't touch my face at all. Haven't reapplied this powder. My face is oily as is, and this how this performs if i just turn this brightness down i don't know if you can tell how oily my face is but my face feels heavy like if i just go back a little bit ignore the mess behind me i just moved i i feel oily i, I don't even think you can see how oily my face is but it's oily and especially around the cheek area i don't i don't know if i get like oily around this area i don't really touch my face the other day but it just doesn't like to sit well on these areas of my face in terms of this powder performing like a usual powder i feel like it's very much it's giving me drugstore you know drugstore for high-end price like you're paying the high-end price of 28 pounds for the quality of drugstore not even like a quality of drugstore just like a, kind of like a cheaper drugstore product because my usual setting powder is drugstore so i know drugstore good quality and this is drugstore mediocre quality and for me if i'm paying 28 pounds there are powders out there that have spf in their powders so for me i kind of wanted this to be a more higher performance Forming powder if I'm paying 28 pounds for this powder and honestly I I like super goop I have been using super goop even before they were selling it in the UK I used to get super goop kind of like I used to pay for the shipping prices for it to be shipped here from the US and oh my god I spent money on super goop just so when I'm on holiday and stuff like that my face can be matte I'm an oily mess so I need this and I thought when I saw this powder I was like I had to get it because honestly a mattifying a mattifying SPF oh that's that's nice this powder what I it's essentially it's just for what it is it's just a touch-up powder that it's like it's great for when you have already have makeup and you know you can't touch up your face with SPF because how how you already got face makeup on it's basically just great to touch up your face with SPF throughout the day if you have face makeup on already like I feel like what I'm going to do this is just nice to have when I'm like on holiday or something but like if I am wearing face makeup I will have the SPF below everything like below my face makeup and then this just to touch up throughout the day to just to make sure that I'm protected from the UV rays of the sun but honestly how this performs I I don't think it's worth 28 pounds 28 pounds no not for this quality I do not think so but I honestly I do think it's great I do think it's like a great product I don't think it's worth the price though it's it's great for when you're on the go it's really nice to have something to be like oh my god the sun is out <laughs> that kind of thing will I purchase this again I will not I'm I, I don't regret buying this because it's something that like when I saw it I was like oh, I really want to try this out and it's nice just to put in your bag and just to have some SPF in your bag and especially when you've got makeup on that kind of thing but other than that we'll not be buying another one but you know five out of ten I'll give it a five out of ten because it like I can't test how well it protects me from the sun first of all I'm just I'm just reviewing this as a powder as as how it is as kind of like a setting powder for your face so that's the only thing I'd really use it for but other than that to me the quality is not worth the price at all but that's just my opinion yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review on this product honestly I just really wanted to try it out I thought it looked cool and I just thought it was such a great idea and I just thought it was just a great product in general while when I was purchasing it um overall it's all right I just it's an average product to me anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video see you guys on the next one bye